Hello, this is Mr. Kent of MrKent.com and I had a uh, I got a note from a friend who purchased one of my balance cables for charging uh, Bebop 2 batteries uh, giving them balance charge which will make them last much longer and um, he hooked it up to his charging plate with his balance charger and he also uh, plugged in uh, one of his batteries from his uh, DJI uh, drone and got some smoke so uh, if you want to generate smoke uh, <laughs> anyway uh, so uh, that's a no-no but let me tell you a little bit about uh, the difference between uh, what little I know about the difference between Chinese and uh, French uh, batteries and chargers <laughs> and it's absolutely nothing <laughs> Okay, but I started out with the DJI uh, Phantom 1. Of course, they didn't call them Phantom 1s back then. They just called them Phantoms. And uh, you could fly it around and uh, just, you know, it stayed in one place. It had, uh, uh, it had uh, GPS and all that. It wasn't my first drone, but it was the first GPS drone I ever had. And then if you wanted to, you could purchase a gimbal uh, and hook it to the bottom of the DJI drone. And if you wanted to, you could purchase a GoPro camera and put it into gimbal. And uh, so when I bought mine, I bought it used. It was like third hand and I paid $450 for the drone. It did come with a gimbal and then I already had my GoPro camera. <laughs> and uh, the batteries that came with it uh, were 2.2 uh, amp or 2200 milliamp uh, batteries. And uh, I think it came with two. And then, of course, uh, I had other batteries that I uh, used for other things that I would use on it also. But uh, uh, it came with two batteries. And, of course, it came with a cheap little charger that would charge those batteries. But, uh, if you know, from previous flying experiences, I uh, had a Venom uh, balance charger, which my son had given me. And uh, I eventually burned out one of the ports on it, hooking up more than one battery. Uh, one I've hooked up two different kinds of batteries to it and burned out one of the ports. So uh, my experience with uh, mixing batteries on a, ch a balanced charger is not good and uh, neither is my friends. But uh, I'll finish telling you about my first Phantom. Anyway, uh, if, if when you got the battery all charged up and you slid it inside and hooked up the wires, uh, you could fly for about six minutes and then it would uh, back uh, the little light on the back would start flashing red and if you didn't happen to catch that it would start coming down it came down slowly it was all programmed so it wouldn't just crash to the ground but uh, you can see videos on YouTube about guys who are jumping in the water to catch their drone that is slowly coming down anyway so I if you wanted to you could you could buy a dual battery kit and um, uh, they were sold by different companies, different shapes. And the one that I got looked kind of like what you see in the picture. And then it, you would uh, screw that into the to the uh, bottom of the of the Phantom, and then you could hook two batteries up, and that would cause it to be extra heavy. But you could fly for about nine minutes with uh, <laughs> with your Phantom One. So anyway, things have changed, and uh, technology has increased a lot since then. But uh, one of the things I learned, and one of the things my friend uh, Ben also learned, was that you can't mix and match different batteries uh, different from different drones. Uh, it, it's pretty obvious when you look at the uh, chargers for the different drones. The Bebop 2 charger has all these extra plugs for different countries, and it comes from France. And then uh, I just found this on the internet because I don't have a modern DJI uh, drone. I'm stuck with Bebop, which I'm very happy with. Um, anyways, and so there's you know, they have different uh, polarities, and that that was the problem that my friend had. And so uh, the point is this: the warning is this, the caution is this. If you have two different kind of batteries, whether it's DJI and Bebop, or whether it's three cell and two cell, uh, and you have a charging plate uh, that you charge a lot of batteries on. Uh, stick to similar batteries and uh, you'll you'll do just fine but uh, don't start switching don't put uh, two different kinds of batteries onto your charging plate 
and expect it to always work. As it turns out, the, the balance cable didn't burn up and his charger didn't burn up because he saw the smoke soon enough and uh, didn't burn up any batteries. So just a caution, just charge either one battery at a time or two similar batteries when you have a charging plate using a charging cable. Doesn't matter whether you uh, use one of the ones that I uh, have available uh, or whether you use one from someplace else. Just always remember, caution, charge similar batteries on your charging plate. All right, well, I want to thank you for listening and watching, and God bless you.